After a report issued by the special investigation team headed by former CBI chief R K Raghavan, it does not have sufficient precedence to solidify the case against Gujarat Chief Minister Narendra Modi. Despite claims from activists of having sweeping testimony regarding the Ehsan Jafri killing case in Gujarat, the committee appointed by the Supreme Court says there isn't enough evidence to make a solid case. The case will be presented today before the High Court. SIT has found no prosecutable evidence against Gujarat Chief Minister Narendra Modi and 61 others, whom Jakia Jafri and the other petitioners had accused of virtual complicity in the riots that engulfed Gujarat in the wake of the Gujarat train burning. The process will have to wait for another round of hearings before the Metropolitan Court, for which the trial judge will be given a notice to petitioners Jakia Jafri and the Citizens for Justice and Peace, the NGO headed by Tista Sidalwad. As this report certainly doesn't mean that the case will be shut down against the Gujarat CM. The SIT was set up in 2009 to investigate the petition from Zakia Jafri and the CJP, which had alleged that Modi and other top government officials refused to take action to stop the riots that followed the burning of the train carnage in Godhra, in which several car sevaks were returning from Ayodhya. 62-year-old Modi was accused of his lack of action during the riots in the Gulbag Housing Society that killed 69 people, including former Congress MP Ehsan Jafri. The case was filed by his widow Jakia Jafri, amongst other plaintiffs, and was being tried before the Gujarat High Court.